is a hell in a cell match and is for the WWE Championship. It is main event time, Sunday night, April the 16th, 2023, Target Center, Minneapolis, Minnesota, the first live premiere event of the season, WWE Backlash. And we are about to witness the final chapter in a year long story between Apex Predator and Original Bro. But most importantly, between two former best friends, Randy Orton, that man right there, or as I like to call him, that cold hearted son of a bitch. Let anger, let frustration, let failure separate his relationship with his former tag team partner this time last year. Randy Orton kicked Matt Riddle to the curb, tried to end his career in a parking garage, but Matt Riddle came back for more. And you remember back in August of last year, August the 7th to be exact at Extreme Rules, Randy Orton and Matt Riddle went one-on-one -on -one in Falls Count Anywhere and how disturbing it was to watch on that night as Randy Orton used a sledgehammer on his former friend, RKO'd him on, on that very hammer and left him laying in a pool of his own blood. Randy Orton went on to become the WWE Champion. Randy Orton went on to have a winning streak over six months long. All the while, Matt Riddle fell towards a downward spiral. Luckily for Riddle, all the stars aligned. He bounced back and he won the 30-man Royal Rumble match on January 1st, which propelled him to finally face off with the man who swore him off for good, Randy Orton, back on WrestleMania Sunday in the main event. And that, of course, is where this story took another chapter when Riddle won the gold that is around his very waist dethroning his former friend, taking away what meant the most to Randy Orton. Payback was a bitch, and Matt Riddle solidified that once and for all. But tonight, it's all or nothing. Not only is the WWE Championship on the line, but to ensure that the story finally ends here in Minneapolis, the loser of this matchup will be banished from Monday Night Raw. There is so much riding on the line in the most dangerous structure known to mankind. Hell in a cell. And although Riddle was victorious at WrestleMania, although he is the champion, I would have to say Randy Orton is the favorite in this matchup. He won this very Hell in a Cell match back in November at Survivor Series to win the WWE Championship. For Randy Orton, will history repeat itself tonight? in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Introducing the challenger from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton! And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. It is a big fight feel, all or nothing in your main event. The WWE Championship, a spot on Monday Night Raw and leaving this story of former friendship behind. The final chapter will be written in blood inside Hell in a Cell. And we are underway here at Backlash. This is Matt Riddle's first time inside the squared circle. Oh, wait a minute, Randy Orton trying to end this thing early. Oh, gets the shoulder up. This is Riddle's first time inside the squared circle since he retained the WWE title on the Raw after WrestleMania against Sami Zayn. That, of course, was the night he was ambushed by Randy Orton and put through a table in that very ring. 
It was just a few weeks later that Matt Riddle, as you saw in the video package, was ambushed by the man Randy Orton, paid off to do so, the street champ Solo Sokoa. Riddle's been home nursing that fall, picking the glass out of his back and nursing those injuries ever since. Riddle's back inside the ring tonight, and he is hell-bent on getting his pound of flesh against the Apex Predator as he is unloading on the number one contender right now. Speaking of number one contenders, you remember how we kicked off Backlash? The Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar winning that five-man elimination matchup. So whoever wins this Hell in a Cell match, certainly with no easy task on the horizon, is the alpha male of our species is waiting for them. These two men need to be center-focused on tonight. Riddle and Randy Orton. A year-long story concludes here at Backlash. We talked about it earlier tonight. It was a year ago at this event that Riddle and Randy Orton lost their rematch for the World Tag Team Championships against the Viking Raiders. And really on that night, after they already lost the tag team, th tag team titles, excuse me, and things were already on, Rocky Waters is where we really saw I should say began to see the dissension between Riddle and Orton. What a year it has been between these two men, the trials and tribulations that Randy Orton has put the WWE Champion through. Riddle has obviously come out on the other side, but tonight is where he can either silence Randy Orton for good, or Randy Orton is going to prove that he never needed Matt Riddle to begin with. Certainly a whole lot of bragging rights on the line inside this cell tonight as well as Orton drops Riddle with the DDT. I want to thank you once again for joining us here tonight at Backlash. It has been an extraordinary evening here on your first live premiere of the season. And we're going to find out tomorrow night on Raw the date and location for the next live premiere event. So be sure to tune in 5 p.m. Eastern time right back here tomorrow night for Monday Night Raw. Randy Orton and Matt Riddle continuing their fight inside Hell in the Cell. As we just saw between Drew McIntyre and John Cena, I expect this to be a war of attrition till the very end, especially with such, such high stakes, excuse me. The WWE Championship, a spot on Monday Night Raw, and all the bad blood between these two men. Or muscles up Matt Riddle, hangs him up on the top rope. We've yet to see the cell structure come into play, but I'm sure it's just a matter of time before we see these men go. Well, there you go, on the outskirts of the ring, Randy Orton, no stranger to hell in the cell, as he's looking underneath the ring, and he's using a weapon that we have seen multiple times throughout tonight in those five personal elimination matches. Orton's bringing out a table. Again, Orton used that very table. Not that very table. That table was broken into smithereens, but he used a table on Riddle, crashed him through it a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw to send a message that this story was far from over with. And obviously, Orton's looking to repeat history tonight at Backlash. As we mentioned, Randy Orton, it was only back in November, Thanksgiving night, and him and the Rated R Superstar Edge went one-on-one -on -one inside Hell in a Cell at Survivor Series, where Randy Orton won the WWE Championship. Orton has experience, not only in the main event, in general versus Matt Riddle, but he has way more experience inside Hell in a Cell, as this is Riddle's first experience inside this cage structure. Riddle may be the champion, but Randy Orton's got to be the favorite tonight. Riddle's coming to this match. I'm going to take a guess here and say not 100% after everything he has been through over just the last number of weeks alone. And of course, as we saw at WrestleMania, injuries or not, Riddle will not slow down for anybody, including Randy Orton, as he uses that table against the man who introduced it. And I'm sure Riddle would love to even the odds with Randy Orton and make him feel the wood. And Orton looks to avoid it as he sends Riddle over the top rope and down to the floor. And Orton taking his time here, following the WWE Champion to the outside. Wait a minute, here we go, and here's where the brawl really starts to ensue inside Hell in the Cell, as these two men are on the outside of the ring, and Randy Orton just rammed right into those steel steps. And the WWE Champion is on the chase. Randy Orton's on the run right now, as Riddle's taking him for a ride around ringside. And Orton comes in contact with Hell in the Cell for the first time. This may be Riddle's first experience inside Hell in the Cell, but he's been surrounded by cages before and the most violent of fights. He's no stranger to the main event as well, and especially with so much bad blood, 
He is going to do everything he can to make sure he gets his pound of flesh versus Randy Orton tonight. Orton trying to fight back here, but these two men fighting tooth and nail, surrounded by the hell in the cell. And both men back and forth are eating the steel cage at the moment. As Riddle's going underneath the ring, introducing a steel chair, but here comes Orton. And Riddle with a blow. Sending Orton away again. And the champion back of the ring, he's got that steel chair. What is in the mind of the original bro here? Looks like he's going to wedge that chair into the corner. Riddle obviously came in with a game plan. I mean, Orton put him on the shelf for a couple weeks. Riddle had plenty of time to sit at home and think up strategy, think up ideas on how to inflict damage on the Apex Predator and try to come out on the other end of this thing as the WWE Champion. Riddle setting up that table. He's got that chair in the corner. Sent Randy Orton down for a moment. Now Orton back inside of the ring, but Matt Riddle's right there to continue on the offense of his former best friend. Hip toss takes down Orton. We saw how Matt Riddle survived the brutality of the no-holds-barred match at WrestleMania and obviously has got some new tick tricks of the trade. Randy Orton going head first into that chair that Riddle had propped up in the corner. Got him a two count there, but Randy Orton still got fight left in him. Matt Riddle has been through the worst of it. I'd least like to hope through this rivalry with Randy Orton, but Hell in the Cell is a whole different animal. And Randy Orton, knowing the surroundings he is in tonight, being successful under a year ago at Survivor Series inside this structure for the WWE title, as we mentioned earlier, I gotta believe Randy Orton's the favorite tonight. But don't count out Matt Riddle. He's propped that table up in the corner. He's obviously got something in mind as he sends Randy Orton to the outside here. And Orton just has to use the chair. Oh my goodness. Has to use the cell to get to his feet. And you see how Riddle just kicked Orton back into the cell to make sure he had to inflict some punishment there. And Orton's on the run. Riddle's been in the driver's seat for at least the last minute or two, and Randy Orton's just trying to get back into things right now. Taking his time, letting Riddle come to him. But Riddle's gotta make sure he doesn't play right into the game plan of Randy Orton. And Riddle going back underneath the ring, and he's introducing a second table. Orton trying to sneak up on him here, but the original bro is ready, possibly more ready than Randy Orton. As Orton needs to sell again, but there's an elbow right to the jaw of the WWE Champion. And back inside the ring, Orton goes. Just got this feeling that Randy Orton's trying to egg Riddle on right now, trying to get him inside the ring, surrounded by these tables, as Riddle introduces another steel chair. I'm not sure what the Apex Predator is looking to do here, but Riddle's on his tail. I said it while he was walking to the ring, I'll say it again. Like him or not, it's a cold, hard fact that Randy Orton's a cold-hearted son of a bitch, and we have seen that on full display over the last year with his absolutely sickening actions to Matt Riddle. How many times did he try to end his career? Wait a minute, Orton into the cover. Riddle got the shoulder up, but did you see there? Randy Orton, or excuse me, Matt Riddle's been busted wide open. I'm not exactly sure when that happened. It had to be when he came in contact with the cell earlier, but nonetheless, Randy Orton's got him in a predicament looking for that signature. DDT for the middle buckle. Matt Riddle's down and out. And now that we know he's been busted wide open, Matt Riddle is in trouble inside Hell in a Cell. And Orton's not done. Normally, Orton likes to follow up that DDT looking for the RKO, but instead he's looking to inflict more damage using the steel chair on the WWE Champion. And into the cover goes Randy Orton to win the title. Not just yet as Riddle gets the shoulder up. Randy Orton wants back the championship. He lost on the grandest stage of the ball. Orton went for the RKO. Riddle avoided it, and a Superman punch by the bro, who now grasped the steel chair, and a blow right to the head of Randy Orton. And is Matt Riddle now feeling a sense of urgency? At some point, I believe again, when he got in contact with the Hell in the Cell, he got busted wide open. Randy Orton then, oh man! Orton getting sent off the apron, back first into the Hell in the Cell. So much to keep up with here in your main event tonight at Backlash. 
Nonetheless, Riddle still fighting. Orton still fighting. A war of attrition. Who's going to be the last man standing as Riddle's eyeing up that table? He wants retribution for the table that Orton put him through a number of weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. The Randy Orton leaning Riddle up against the rope. Now look at this, bouncing Riddle off. And a suplex in Riddle came in contact with the edge of that steel chair, which is all kinds of bent up as Orton goes for the cover. To win the title again, and Riddle gets the shoulder up once again in this matchup, and Randy Orton starting to question himself. He hit that middle rope DDT, and now a DDT on the steel chair, and right back into the cover. The bloody forehead has got to be feeling that. Orton went for the RKO, Riddle avoided it, tried inflicting more punishment, but the WWE Champion, as Randy Orton has found out in the past and he's getting reminded of tonight, tough as nails, as tough as they come, is the original bro, Matt Riddle. Randy Orton on the chase, or I should say on the run, Matt Riddle on the chase, but Orton now got a grasp on the WWE Champion, but Riddle avoids it. Riddle does not want to feel the table again. Couple of forearm strikes, a bunch of forearm strikes. Orton counters the fourth one. And now muscles Riddle up. Riddle counters. Riddle takes out the leg of the, I was said WWE Champion, over the challenger. Matt Riddle's the champion. Randy Orton lost in a WrestleMania. Orton into the table again. And Matt Riddle finally gonna get some retribution. Suplex through the table. Randy Orton has made Riddle feel the one in the past, but tonight it's the champion on the hunt. But the Viper gets the shoulder up and rolls away from the rope, or to the ropes, I should say, to try to catch a breather. As Matt Riddle, though, has found himself as the apex predator, seeking his prey, which is Randy Orton. And Riddle's going to the top rope. Orton's down. Here comes a floating bro. But Orton got out of the way, and Riddle crashes and burns on the canvas. Matt Riddle's still fighting. Orton's still fighting. And you see Hell in the Cell starting to take a toll on these two combatants. Riddle has found himself in the same predicament he was at WrestleMania, rocking the Crimson Mask. Randy Orton is the aggressor at the moment. Looks at knock Riddle's lights out off the snake eyes. And the challenger just stomping out the heart of the WWE Champion, as if he hasn't done so enough over the last year. Riddle avoids the kick. There's another Superman punch by the bro. Riddle's got no problem having this thing be a fist fight till the very end. Riddle's got experience in that forte, and I'm sure if there's anybody who would love to punch in the face, Randy Orton is at the top of that list. Riddle setting his sights on that table, and Randy Orton goes head first with it. Riddle already put the Viper through one piece of wood. He wants to make it a dose here at Backlash. It wasn't only the table a few weeks ago on Raw, but you remember in the lead up to WrestleMania, the backstage brawl between these two men. Randy Orton suplexed Riddle through a table onto the concrete. Oh, wait a minute, Riddle's got Randy Orton lying on the wood of that table. The Viper in a precarious situation as the bro is heading to the top row. Frog splash through the table. The rib cage of both men has got to be crying for mercy. Riddle follows it up with a bro time. The fire under the ass of the WWE Champion may lead him to victory right here, right now, no. Randy Orton survives not one but two tables in this matchup. And the WWE Champion has now got to find another way. Or it may have survived two tables. I don't know if my voice is going to survive the rest of this live premiere. Nonetheless, the brawl continues on the outside of the ring. And they are kneeling this, nearing the hell in the cell again. And Randy Orton's own momentum just takes him down off that throw by Riddle. First a suplex through the table, then the frog splash. Not enough to keep Orton down. Randy Orton breaks the jaw of the WWE Champion right there. Now throwing a couple haymakers. Another one as Riddle eats the hell in the cell again. And again! 
Randy Orton is violent. Randy Orton is vicious. And Randy Orton had to know, knows how to use the Hell in the Cell structure to his advantage. Matt Riddle is down. He's got to get his wits about him now or never. The Viper will pick you apart and will strike at any given moment. Riddle may have avoided one RKO earlier, but you know Randy Orton's going to be looking for another one at any given second in this match. And the brawl continues. Riddle just again throwing Orton away. Oh, man, did you see that? I believe Riddle was going for a stomp. Orton caught the foot and whiplash Riddle right in the, the cell, I believe. And now Riddle eats the cell wall again. And oh, my God! My goodness, Randy Orton just goring Matt Riddle through the hell in the cell wall. Riddle is down, and he may be out for the count. Randy Orton is just trying to, I don't know, walk it off right now. I have no idea what the Vipers got in mind, but Randy Orton, the violence, the bad blood between these two men spills outside the structure, spills outside Hell in the Cell, and now the brawl has made its way throughout the target center. What a freaking fight for the WWE Championship for a spot on Monday Night Raw and for ultimate back bragging rights in this year-long story of former friends turned bitter enemies. We're up against the barricade, trying to fight to survive right now. And that's all these men can do. Is Rand oh my goodness, no. Randy Orton is scaling the side of the hell in the cell. And I don't want to remember the fall that Randy Orton sent Edge to last November. Randy, you, you hear it from Minneapolis, but Randy Orton, you remember back at Survivor Series in November, sent Edge through the roof of the hell in the cell, and I think he's going Matt Riddle, and Matt Riddle, maybe tougher than he is smarter, is gonna meet Randy Orton on top of hell. This is not good, this is dangerous. Oh no, I am I am very nervous right now for the WWE Champion and hell, even the challenger. Oh my God, Riddle, go to sleep. German, oh, German suplex on the cell. Listen, man, I, I know that, that roof can support, but it's really not supposed to. It's not meant to. I do not want to see even Randy Orton take a fall. It is dangerous. It is barbaric. There is a reason hell in the cell will change your career, quite frankly, change your life forever. Randy Orton goaded Riddle up, but right now Riddle's putting the whooping on his former friend, and that time landed on the beam of the cell. Oh my God, at least the cage, I guess, has a little bit of a give, but that beam is as, as hard steel as it comes. Randy Orton is all kinds of dazed and confused, or maybe not. And now it's Randy Orton being the aggressor. Drop kick on top of the cell. This is not good, as Randy Orton now is stomping each body part of Matt Riddle, which on top of that cell is only gonna hurt about 10 times worse, as if it wasn't already barbaric already. And Orton just trying to open up that wound of Riddle even more. Oh no, RKO! The RKO on top of Hell in the Cell! We said Matt Riddle was out for a pound of flesh, but the Viper is looking to bring home the ultimate prey tonight. Riddle avoided that very move earlier on in this matchup, but Randy Orton just struck with the three most dangerous letters in our industry on top of the Hell in the Cell structure. And yet somehow these two men are still swinging for the fences. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That you see, you see, uh, off that maneuver, that 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 wall right there, should be that that roof is, is starting to cave in. I, these two men got to get down. A, a fight in the ring, man. This is way too dangerous. 
I do not want to see a repeat of Survivor Series when Edge fell through the roof, down to the canvas, and basically wrote the final story of that matchup. Riddle trying to avoid whatever Randy Orton had in mind. Riddle just trying to walk it off right now. I know these guys are running off adrenaline. They're running off anger. They're running off the will to be WWE champion and ultimately defeat the other. But is it really worth this risk? Is the reward worth it in the end? Unfortunately, I think if you ask these two men, they are going to say yes, as they are dangerously close to the edge of Hell in the Cell right now. And I do not like where things are heading. Matt Riddle. Oh, that was a stiff knee to the elbow. But it dislocated the entire elbow of Randy Orton as he German suplexes Orton on top of the cell. Something's got to give. And hopefully it's not the roof of this freaking cage. As the fight, tooth and nail continues. Oh my God! Randy Orton! You have got to be kidding me! The, the spine buster just sent Randy Orton from the roof to the ring. I, I, I don't even know how to do Wait a minute, Randy Orton into the cover. Riddle kicks out. How is Randy Orton even moving right now? Adrenaline's the only word, but I gotta, I gotta say, after adrenaline wears off, these two men are gonna find themselves in a damn hospital bed. Randy Orton charged at Riddle. Riddle's spine buster countered Randy Orton, and Orton broke through the roof, back first, all the way down to the floor, to the canvas, to the ring, and now is crawling for mercy right now. Matt Riddle's going under the ring. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Riddle has now got the sledgehammer, the weapon that has been welded many times throughout this rivalry. And the same weapon that Randy Orton used on Matt Riddle to put the final nail in their friendship back on August the 7th of last year. Matt Riddle never forgives and never forgets. Referee better get out of the damn way because Matt Riddle's on a rampage. Matt Riddle has been thinking about this moment. Not only since Randy Orton put him on the shelf, but since Randy Orton used that very hammer against his former friend last August in Seattle. WrestleMania was just the beginning. And I think Matt Riddle is looking for an end. The sledgehammer, the kick. And Matt Riddle is looking for that chokeout submission hold that he has used for success many times. Or it's passing out, or it's passing out, or it taps out. It is all over. It is all over. The year long story finally writes its final chapter in the most barbaric, the most brutal way possible. And after everything we just witnessed, Matt Riddle survives Hell in a Cell. And still, the WWE Champion, the original girl, Matt Riddle. These men will never be the same. Randy Orton, not only is walking away without the WWE Championship, but he will be banished from Monday Night Raw. And after a year of heartbreak, after a year of trials and tribulations, Matt Riddle finally puts Randy Orton in the past. Matt Riddle survives Hell in a Cell. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th, Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event 
streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.